Hi everyone, my name is Neeti. I am a yoga teacher in New York City at Moto Yoga. And I'm grateful to be here uh, with Manduka today. We're gonna move through a vinyasa flow style class. If you have blocks, I suggest grabbing them. If you don't have blocks, no problem. You can use uh, water bottles, paper towel rolls, uh, books, anything that can kind of bring the ground up to you. And then um, I'm actually gonna be using a dish towel today. You can uh, grab a strap if you have it too. Um, and yeah, meet me on your mat. Let's head over. So go ahead and take your knees out wide, uh, hip width distance apart, bring the toes together and drape yourself forward, uh, coming into child's pose. Let your forehead rest on your mat or on a block. Yeah. And feel the connection of the ground underneath you. And stay where you are. I'm just going to come to seated so that you can hear me. But uh, just let your hips soften back. Right? And as you send your hips down towards the ground, uh, bring a sort of ease into the midsection, into the belly. And an ease into the shoulders. And just taking time to feel the support of the ground underneath you. Notice how your breath feels as it travels in and out of your nose. And perhaps you let out a sigh or whatever sort of cleansing noise you need right, to land yourself fully on your mat. Right. Allowing yourself to make the transition to your practice. Especially when we're practicing at home hard right to stay focused and to tune out everything around you so take a moment here to commit to this time and to commit to showing up for yourself and your last couple breaths in child's pose and stretch your arms up towards the front of your mat, crawl your fingertips forward so the arms are active. And pull yourself forward to table tap. Stack your shoulders right over your hips and your, uh, sorry, shoulders right over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your back, look up. Exhale, pull your belly in, round your spine. Again, inhale, sweep your heart open, lift your gaze high. Exhale, plug the belly in to dome your back. Last one, inhale, peel your chest open, lift your gaze. Exhale, plug the belly in to round. Inhale, come to a long neutral spine. With your exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Now first down dog of class, bend your knees right, and push into your hands so that your back body lengthens. We keep the knees bent here so that we can feel the length, the integrity of our entire back body. Wrap the shoulders down so that they're hugging your heart. Inhale, raise your heels high. Exhale, bend into the knees, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, connect your hands at your heart. And spread your toes wide, press through your feet. Inhale, send your arms up high. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, Ardha. Exhale, plant your hands, step to a high plank. Inhale, push the mat away. Exhale, tap your knees down, shift forward, lower all the way down to your mat. Inhale, pick just your heart up, this is baby cobra. Exhale, move through tabletop. Come to downward facing dog. Two cycles of breath here. Press into your hands and feet more to send your tailbone higher. Then pull the rib cage uh, in towards the spine to keep the back long. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees two steps to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise, reach your arms high. Exhale, connect your prayer at your heart. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, soften the knees as you fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, high plank. Make sure that the hips are right in line with the heels. Drive the heels back. Inhale, push them out of the way. Exhale, lower your knees, shift forward, lower halfway. Press into your feet, inhale, guide your heart forward and through. This is upward facing dog. Exhale, take your hips back to downward facing dog. Now maybe pedal out the feet. And then know that uh, that version of the flow is always available to you, right, throughout the practice. Inhale, raise your heels. Exhale, bend your knees two steps to the top of your mat. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Press your feet down, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward over your thighs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Breathe in, drive the heels back. Exhale, shift forward, lower halfway down. Make a right angle with the elbows. Lift your feet, breathe in, upward facing dog. Exhale, pull the belly in to send the hips back. Adho Mukha Sanasana. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. Inhale, raise your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or lightly hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Utkatasana. Exhale to stay here, slide your knees back, hug your belly in, pull your shoulder blades down. Inhale, just lift your gaze, look up. Exhale, drape forward over your thighs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back to bent elbows. Inhale, slide your heart forward and through Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ground the left heel down, Step your right foot forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, stay here. Grab your left wrist. Bend over to the right. Inhale, rise through center. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, heart forward and through. Exhale, downward facing down. Without missing a beat, ground the right heel down. Step the left foot forward. Breathe in, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, grab the right wrist, we bend to the left. Inhale, we come through center. Exhale, plant your hands, it's Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, the heart rises high. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, Ardho Tanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, breathe in, send your arms high, Utkatasana. Exhale, we fold right back down. One more time, bend your knees, breathe in, Utkatasana. Exhale, now bring your prayer to your heart. Inhale, send your heart forward, get longer through your torso. Exhale, hug the belly in as you twist to the right side. Now, take a look at your knees, right? The knees being in one line is your best indicator that the hips are even. Sit the booty lower as you raise your heart higher. Inhale, come through center, rise up, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply, breathe and send your arms up high. Exhale, prayer to your heart. Inhale, get broader across your chest. With your exhale, twist to the left side. Yeah, so notice how my bum is lower than my heart. Then press your hands together right at your chest and revolve your heart open as you slide the top shoulder down. Inhale, circle through center, rise up, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, the heart rises high. Exhale, take it home, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now right away, notice, right, after becoming still, it is your mind wandering. It is completely natural 
for the mind to kind of travel off your mat in the moments of stillness, but it is part of the practice right, to bring it back, to show up for yourself. So take a cleansing round of breath in and out of the nose and show up right where you are. Inhale, kick your right leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms up. Exhale, we stay here in crescent lunge. Bend your back knee slightly so that you could pull the pelvis forward. The hips are square towards the front of your room. Keeping the hips pulling forward, start to straighten out the back leg. Inhale, just lift your gaze. Exhale, pivot open, warrior two. Taking a nice wide stance, make sure the front knee is right over the ankle. The back hip uh, drops in line with the front hip. With your inhale, dance your right arm up and back. Exhale, stay here, reach even more. Inhale, take the length of the side body forward. Exhale, bring your right arm down and your left arm overhead for extended side angle. Now, great place for a block right? One underneath the bottom hand. And if you're using the block, you press into the block to find more opening, right? Realizing that supporting yourself in this practice is part of the, uh, the magic of finding more opening. And then look at the ground, bring your top hand to your hip. Walk your block forward about a foot in front of the right foot. With your inhale, shift the weight onto your uh, right hand. And then with your exhale, flex the back foot, drive the heel back for Ardha Chandrasana. The top arm reaches up once you're steady. And then notice the, uh, the back foot, right? We want the heel right in line with the hip. But can you revolve the top hip back in space as you broaden across your chest? Take one more breath in, grow broader across your chest. With your breath out, bring your left hand down. Take a second, square the hips off, right? You're worth the taking the second to find the correct alignment. We want the hips level. Inhale, half lift. With your exhale, plant your hands down, left foot back, right foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, heart comes forward and through, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, hips back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, raise your left leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, we rise high. This is Anjaneyasana. Exhale, we land right here. Bring a slight bend to the back knee. Now, as you uh, drop your booty down, you bring the tailbone forward. And then from that motion, you find a lift in the heart. And then we re-extend the back leg, press into the ball of the back foot. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, open wide, warrior two. Taking a nice, big, expansive stance here. With your inhale, we dance the left arm up and back. Exhale, stay, feel the side body get even longer. And inhale, take the length forward, reach forward first. Exhale, take the left arm down, perhaps to your prop, the right arm overhead. Now, right away, notice, right? If the front knee has moved from over the ankle, bring it back. Then can you push down to lift up, letting the support of the ground underneath you find, uh, give you a sense of lightness. Top hand to the hip. Look at the ground. Walk the back foot in and take your prop out in front of the left foot. With your inhale, shift your weight onto your left hand. Exhale, float the right foot back for Ardha Chandrasana. Right away, drive the back heel back, right? Pull the toes towards you. And the more uh, you flex the foot, the stronger the leg gets, the lighter the shape feels. Keep the breath steady in this balance, in this challenge. And go ahead and bring your right hand down. Square the hips off first. Okay, take a second right here. And with your inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, right foot back, left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, slide your heart forward and through, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, hips back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Steady 
yourself right here with the power of your breath. And you clear your mind with the power of your breath. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bend your knees, step float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your prayer to your heart. Walk your feet mat width uh, distance apart and point your toes outwards. I'm gonna turn to face you so that you guys can see uh, what I'm doing here. So the feet uh, point outward. And with your inhale, sweep your arms over your head. Exhale, slide your tailbone forward, bend your knees, lower down to malasana. Press into the feet, inhale, rise up. We're standing. Exhale like you're sliding down a wall. Malasana, last one of the Kriya. Push down, root to rise, inhale, reach up. Exhale, slide down, Malasana to stay. Now, the dish rag. If you have it, uh, bring it back handy. You can also support yourself with a block underneath your sacrum if this feels like a lot. And plant the left hand in front of you with your inhale. Sweep the right arm up, open to the right side. Exhale, wrap your right arm behind you. You can stay with the forearm against the back or perhaps you grab for the inner thigh or you take a full bind and connect the hands behind the thigh. Now the dish towel is to bring your hands closer together. So you would grab the dish towel like this behind your thigh. All right, wrap the heart open, breathe into the side of the body and the left hip. Release the grip, inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, plant your hands down, bump your hips up and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower your hips for Malasana. Walk the right hand in front of the right foot now. Breathe in, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, take the left arm behind you, coming into one of your options. You can stick with the forearm against the back where you grab the inner left right thigh or you snake this uh, right arm behind you, connect your hands, or use your trusty dish towel. Now, and then, right, we're using the bind in this practice to open up more. So there's something so beautiful about using a point of closure to actually find more space in the body. So see if you can peel the heart open and breathe into the tiniest point of closure here. Release the grip, reach the left arm up as you breathe in. Exhale, plant both hands down, raise your hips and fold. Walk your feet back to hip width distance apart. Soften into your knees and grab onto your big toes with your peace fingers. Okay. Shift the weight into the front of the feet and then with your inhale, send your heart forward. Exhale, pull on your toes for a forward fold. Now. Feel the sit bones uh, actually start to lift up more, almost like you're still in down dog. And then the belly moves towards the thighs and the top of the head moves towards the floor. It's totally okay to keep the legs bent. Right? This is a lot into the hamstrings. And go ahead and release the grip. And take a half lift with the breath in. With your breath out, plant your hands, step back, plank through chaturanga. Inhale, guide your heart forward and through Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, take it home, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Landing right in your space, right in your body, right in this moment. Take a breath and lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, reach your arms up high. Exhale, take your left arm underneath your right. Inhale, lift up your left knee. Exhale, cross your left leg over the right for Garuda Eagle Pose. Now, as you squeeze the arms and the legs together, think about your torso actually getting taller, right? Bring the shoulders back over the hips. Breath in, lift your left leg up, reach your arms high. With your breath out, step your left foot back, warrior one legs. Breathe in, sweep the arms higher. 
exhale, grab your left wrist, bend to the right, getting into the side body. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, dance your right arm up and back. Exhale to stay, stay, breathe into the right side. Inhale, take the leg forward. Exhale, bring your right arm down, left arm overhead. Extended side angle, we're here for the second time. Now, you can stay here or wrap the left arm behind you, grab for the inner right thigh. And then take the right arm below you, dish towel here if you need it. Interlace your fingers behind the right thigh. The same thing we just talked about in the last now. Can you use the grip, the point of closure to open your chest, your heart up more and bring your full awareness to how you can make space from resistance? All right, this is the tricky part. From your bind or half bind, walk the left foot in. Look down at the ground, bring your gaze to one point. With your inhale, shift the weight into the right leg. Exhale, kick the left leg back. We're in a bound Ardha Chandrasana. You have variations, right? So you can be in a half bound Ardha with the uh, right hand on a block like this, or the full bind, and you keep the bind behind the leg. Keep breathing, keep your gaze steady. And then binders, you keep the bind as you bend into the front knee and step back to your bound side angle. Release the grip, inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, hands to hips, straighten your front leg, pivot to face the side. And so you're facing uh, the side of your mat. Pivot your toes slightly in, press your feet down, inhale, send your heart up. Exhale, tilt forward as you fold. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. You go ahead, shift the weight into the front of the feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. You can walk your hands forward like you're almost in a down dog, or it might feel nice to take the hands back right under the hips. And think about the spine staying long and the neck becoming soft. And so at this point in class, uh, I like to imagine that some of the extra noise of the head is kind of pouring out right here onto the ground and and leaving me so that I can be more present in my practice. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders if they've moved. Inhale, find a half lift. Exhale, soften your knees, hands to the top of your mat. Tap your back knee down, low lunge. One breath in, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank through chaturanga. Inhale, guide your heart forward and through urdhva mukha. Exhale, hips back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And breathe and lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step, float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up high. Exhale, take the right arm underneath the left. Inhale, lift up your right knee. Exhale, bend your knees, right leg over the left. Same thing, squeeze the arms and the legs together and pull the belly in, lift the shoulders higher. Go root at eagle pose. Breath in unravels you, you reach up high, your breath out, you step back, warrior one leg. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, grab the right wrist, bend to the left. Inhale, rise through center. Exhale, take a wider stance as you open to your warrior two. Inhale, dance the left arm up and back. Exhale to stay, reach back even more. Inhale, take the length of the side body forward. Exhale, take the left arm down, right arm overhead, extended side angle. And you can stay here or you wrap the right arm behind your back. Forearm can stay against the back or perhaps you grab the inner thigh. Or full bind, you take the left arm behind the right, the left thigh, and you interlace your fingers. Now, tricky part, right? So take a second, get focused, get control here. You look at the ground steadily, walk the back foot in first, and lift out of the back foot a little bit. And then with your inhale, you shift the weight onto your left foot. 
exhale, we float with control. This side's really hard for me into uh, a bound Ardha Chandrasana. I'm gonna take the half bound version today. All right, so the left hand pushes in to the block and we grab the inner left thigh. Continue to use the bind to wrap the top hip open but if you're in the half bind and you're looking for a little more challenge, you can, uh, you can play with control, right? Lift the left arm, see if you can get that bind. Maybe you use your dish towel. And breath in here. With your breath out, with control, keep the bind. Step back to warrior two legs. Binders, release the grip. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Hands to your hips, inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, pivot, now you're facing the side of your mat. I'm gonna turn uh, so that my booty isn't in your, in your camera here. And then you're gonna slide the toes slightly in. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, send your heart up as your tailbone moves down. Exhale, tilt the tailbone up as you reach your heart forward first, and then down to fold. Yeah, again, letting uh, some of the tension of the neck go and maybe even a sigh or a flutter of the lips, right? You're in your own space. Do what makes you feel good here. Yeah, and then bring your hands to your low back first and then underneath the shoulders. Inhale, high into half lift. Exhale, bend your knees. Walk your hands to the top of your mat. You tap the back knee down for a low lunge. I'm gonna come back to the front of my mat, but you stay exactly where you are. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank through chaturanga. Inhale, guide your heart forward and through Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, take your hips back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find three strong breaths exactly where you are. Noticing how the more you push into your mat, the lighter the entire body feels. Breathe and lift up your hips. Exhale, bend your knees, step, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms up. Exhale, take your prayer to your heart and bring your hands to your hips. And closing out our standing series with a nice Vrikshasana tree pose. Plant the left foot down, turn your right knee out, and slide your foot onto your calf or your inner thigh. Yeah, and then take your hands uh, to heart center first. And as you spread your toes wide and root down into the ground, feel the gentle lift that comes from finding uh, the support of the ground underneath. Feel steady. Perhaps you reach your arms overhead. You spread your branches out. And take in uh, what it feels like to be in this shape in this moment. Nurturing your branches with your breath. Bring your hands back to center and onto your hips. Right knee forward. Step your feet together. I like to pedal the feet between sides. Press the right foot down. Turn the left knee out. Go ahead, place your foot on your calf or the inner thigh. Connect your hands at your heart. And feel your heartbeat. Feel the rhythm uh, that is flowing within your body. Right? Only you know that feeling. Only you are in this body in this moment. And perhaps you reach your arms overhead. Letting your branches take up the space that you have, the space that you're in. And breathe. And bring your hands back to center and onto your hips. Turn your knee forward, step your feet together. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over your thigh. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, guide your heart forward and through Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, float your hips back. 
Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hmm. From down dog, tap your knees down. Walk them towards the top of your mat. And take your toes together and your knees out wide. A little set up for sleeping hero. You can place your props underneath your back and your head for support, or uh, if you're comfortable coming all the way down, you do so. Then take your hands to your mat, press into your hands, lift your hips up, slide your tailbone forward so the back body elongates, and set your bum back into the heels. You stay here or lower onto the elbows, and gently lower all the way down. And so if you're using blocks, I like to think about one going right between the shoulder blade and one under the base of the head. If the knees are lifting, uh, you, you probably want to come back up a little higher so that you're not straining the knees or the low back. Hmm. And then just take in your breath. Take in the sensations of being on the ground. And breathing into the entire front body as it opens right here. Press onto your elbows first. Press into your hands to rise up to your seat. And take a second to just let the spine come back to neutral and to feel your uh, back body stack. And then remove a few blocks out from behind you. Slide your hips onto either side and take your feet out in front of the hips. Plant them down. Move the blocks so you can see. And press into your feet, reach your arms forward, plug your belly in, lift your heart slightly, breath in, exhale, dome your back, resist the floor, continue to round it down. Once you're down, walk your feet in uh, close enough to your hips so that you can touch them with your hands. And press into your feet, lift your hips up. Interlace your fingers underneath your bum. So coming into bridge pose, the more you press through your feet and hands, the more you can lift up, right? So feeling the stability of the ground and how it creates a lift for you. And then use the glutes and the hamstrings to lift up a little bit more. We all tend to shy away from like that last little inch reserve of lifting up, tap into it right now, you've got this. One more breath in. With your breath out, release the grip, lower down slow. Take your knees together to touch and your feet out wide, hands rest on the belly, constructive rest. And then walk your feet back in line with the hips. And press uh, into the feet and make sure they're parallel. So you can take another set of bridge where I'm going to set you up for Urdhva Dhanurasana full wheel, right? If that's not in your home practice, bridge is a beautiful place to be or even a block under the sacrum for restorative. So bridge, go for it. Urdhva Dhanurasana, you place your hands down next to your ears. Move with me, okay? We're gonna move through this carefully. Spread the fingers wide, push your hands down. Come gently onto the top of your head first. Draw the elbows in like you're in Chaturanga and push yourself all the way up. Press into the hands and the feet more to lift the upper body and then wrap the armpits open, slide your chest forward. Keep your neck uh, in a congruous line with the spine. And then just like bridge, you push through the hamstrings and the glutes to lift the pelvis up. And breathe length into the entire back body to come out, tuck the chin into your chest, bend the elbows, slowly come onto the back of your head first, lower down nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time, knock the knees in, one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly this time. Just feeling the vibration that resonates after opening the heart up. And then take 
to your feet, mat with distance apart, and let your knees uh, fall over to the left, look to the right. And bring your legs through center, look to the left, let your knees fall to the right. Come back to center. Walk your feet towards your bum. Take your right heel and cross it over the left thigh. Reach your right arm between your legs and then interlace your fingers on the back of your left hamstring. Now flex your right foot, the top foot flexes. And you guide your right knee back away from you uh, without using any force, right? So you're using the strength of the leg. Well, at the same time, you pull the left hamstring in towards you as you guide your shoulders down. And again, feeling the opening of the right hip that comes from using the grip on your leg. And then release the grip and switch sides. So we take the left ankle to the right thigh, grab the right hamstring, flex your left foot, and pull uh, the leg in towards the body. So the left leg is on top and the left knee guides away from you. And think about uh, the shoulder blades kissing together on your back. And there can be a slight arch in the lower back. You want your sacrum moving. And release the grip. Uncross your legs. Give yourself a squeeze. Kind of gentle rock side to side. Now cross the right leg over the left. Come into eagle leg. Scoot your hips uh, towards the right. Let your knees fall to the left. Cactus your arms. Look to the right. So a passive twist. It might feel nice to take the legs a little bit apart. And place the left hand over the right thigh and soften. And come back to center and switch sides. Take your left leg over the right. Knees fall to the right, look to the left side. Yeah. You can also support uh, the knees with a block underneath them. But you want your shoulders to both be grounded. Legs back to center, uncross them. Now take the soles of your feet together to touch and let your knees butterfly open wide for Supta Virasana. Take one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your breath as it's free. And feel the gentle beat of your heart vibrate underneath your hand. A few moments right here to soak in your hard work, your practice, your connection with your body, with your breath. Stay like this or extend your legs out long. Bring your arms by your side for final Shavasana. Giving yourself a moment here to actually set yourself up for stillness. So if you need to cover the eyes with that dish towel or uh, get a fidget out, go for it. But then come into your stillness. So today in practice, we talked a lot about being able to open from points of closure. And for me, uh, that concept resonates really strongly right now. And as many of us are much more closed off, much more secluded than uh, we're usually used to. But there's a beautiful, beautiful thing that can happen when uh, we look to our points of closure. Right? Sometimes we find the most opening, the biggest hearts, the, the best versions of ourselves when we become aware of 
where we're closed off. Take as much time as you need here in your Shavasana. Giving yourself time to be still. Thank you so much for sharing your energy, your breath, and most of all, your dedication to this practice. Hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.